So we want to ask you, like, has been any developments, any changes since the last time we saw you and we heard you? Yeah, so in the meantime, we also reached out to the archaeology department uh, from university. Uh, so they handled basically the wrecks around Malta and, and the... Um, and they're also involved in the kind of the layout of the seabed to make sure that any new things that have been placed in the, on the seabed don't affect the, the older structures. Um, so we'll be liaising with them uh, to make sure that we're replacing them as well. We don't, for example, confuse our new clay with their older clay, which they can obviously date, but we're going to, make, we're going to try and keep the, the impact to as low as possible. Uh, in the meantime, uh, Professor Daydoon from university also reached out to his colleagues in Italy who have done a similar project but using concrete. Um, and they are going to, we're going to be having a meeting with them later in October. Uh, they have done a project on this. Um, coincidentally also, what the, the fabrication lab we're partnering with, they also know the guys who had done the, some of these similar reefs but out of concrete again. In, uh, in France, and they had tested them in the Mediterranean, which had worked as well. So they have, they have uh, data over a few years too. The Ministry of Environment is also very interested in this because it also meets their targets for habitat re rehabilitation. Uh, we also were exploring a bit more the, where the reef tiles also come in, so for docks and for infrastructure, which we believe should actually line up with what the, the Transport Minister uh, announced recently that they want to kind of try to do a bit more of a push as well into, into not only more marinas, but kind of to improve the, the marine, the, the marine uh, industry in Malta. This, this is something you do in your free time, right? Uh, but it's I'm amazing. I have the like. He's passionate mm. about it. That and there's and he's always the team. Teams, I, lo I love them to bits. They're extremely dedicated. Um, but as well, I'm kind of a bit blessed to to be uh, self-employed. So I work with the family business and uh, still. So you have more flexibility. So I can afford to you know to be here. At, is there any sustainability behind this project in terms of, is there any way you can get any income streams? So worst case scenario that we don't have large incomes from it, already the maintenance of them is incorporated into our, so with the environment ministry we have an MOU to do certain surveying and cleanups and certain things. Um, we're going to incorporate this into our reef survey because the reef surveying we do the environment ministry then kind of informs what we do for ghost net collection. Um, and so that, can, that will just all be bundled together. In terms of further income, we're not going to just sell a reef and call it a day. What we want to do is with the sponsor, if we're targeting foundations or companies, we'll tell them, look, every year there's going to be, we want at the very least this amount then as a maintenance plan for it. Well, listen, we're going to have to call it there, but thank you very much for showing us such major changes and uh, that you've really been working on things as we move yeah. forward. I think the impact of this is significant. It's huge, yes. I'm huge. born and raised here, so the ocean is so important for us and perhaps we don't give it the love it deserves. And of course, coming from Antigua. Yes, yeah, <laughs> So actually, I actually... I would I actually, actually love to export this. Like, I was literally Antigua. thinking about it. Um, that I was actually speaking to one of the ministers of government and I said, I have this thing that this guy is doing. Maybe I speak to him and see what we, we can, can do. We can all go for the launch. Ah, yeah, <laughs> <of course. laughs> Yes, you Thanks. are welcome. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Thanks, Andrew. Thank you. Thank you. This is a small thing that yes. can become yes. big. But it's going to have to be maintained as well. Yes, but, 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 but if, yeah. if, more the but if, but if, if the result is what he wants, then it could be huge. If the concept yeah. is so, proven. Yeah. He's so well exactly. prepared. He if the concept is the proven. He is a professional, yeah. so important. Plus, yeah. I do believe that, in my, I do believe that if it could work even a little bit, with his passion, with everything the knowledge he has, he can attract, it would be attraction for Malta, for the volunteers to come, for the divers to come, even to oh. see what's happening. Have, you, have, any, have any of you guys dive, been diving in Malta? I've, I've, di I've tried hey, to I've, I've So I've done, it. I've done around 40 dives here, mm. and it's, it's you know, we literally raped and pillaged yeah. Yeah. even our seas. This is yeah. just so it's, important. Uh, I, if uh, if, uh, if no, the this, concept this is, is proven, then it's if about the scalability. Is, exactly. yeah. It can yeah. be exported to other yeah, islands. We started exactly. exactly. Let's try. Yeah. Let's try yeah. something exactly. different. Yeah.